The final chapter in our series is focused on giving you advice about how you can best manage the journey from psoriasis to psoriatic arthritis. Again, we'll hear from consultant dermatologist Dr. Anne-Marie Tobin and consultant rheumatologist Professor David Kane about treatment options and we'll get some useful lifestyle tips to find out how we should manage psoriatic arthritis. If a patient is concerned they might have psoriatic arthritis, they should raise that with either their dermatologist or their general practitioner. Both should be able to recognise signs of early psoriatic arthritis. GPs in particular would look for signs of early psoriatic arthritis, order initial blood tests and perhaps carry out an x-ray if it was appropriate. If they suspected the patient had psoriatic arthritis, they would then refer on to a rheumatologist who is a specialist in this area. We would run a fast track early inflammatory arthritis clinic to try to see patients with suspected early psoriatic arthritis as soon as possible. In the early inflammatory arthritis clinic, we can pre-arrange blood tests, perform ultrasound on the day, and we can put them on treatment and give them nurse education and referral for physiotherapy and occupational therapy there and then. It's a one-stop shop aimed at trying to start early treatment and prevent damage. Early treatment is important for patients with moderate to severe psoriasis because what you don't want uh, to happen is a patient to have extensive psoriasis for a long period of time. One, because it can be very itchy and uncomfortable and impact on patients being able to work and live. And the other thing is patients can then develop coping mechanisms of living with what can be a stigmatising condition. From what we know over the last two decades, early treatment of inflammation can have two effects. Firstly, it can put the disease into remission, which can be long-lasting, and secondly, it can prevent damage. The earlier we get treatment, the more chance of achieving both of those aims. The treatment for psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis differs in that we have more treatments available for skin, so if patients have mild psoriasis or it's quite limited, we can treat it with creams or ointments patients with slightly more extensive or moderate psoriasis we can give phototherapy to which is a specialised form of light treatment and then for patients with more severe disease or who for whom those treatments don't work we can treat with systemic agents um, or um, injections many of which actually treat both the skin and the joints. Fortunately there are a lot of treatment options for psoriatic arthritis and we've seen a lot of breakthroughs in the last 20 years. To deal with the inflammation and prevent damage, we have two broad classes of drugs. We have our traditional disease-modifying drugs and we have the newer biological disease-modifying drugs. Both of these act on very specific pathways to block the inflammation, reverse all the symptoms and signs of the disease which makes the patient feel better and ultimately prevent the damage. It's important to emphasise that medication is the cornerstone of good treatment of psoriatic arthritis, but there are a lot of other things that patients will want to do and can do to help themselves. A good healthy diet is important, though unfortunately there's no specific diet that's going to treat psoriatic arthritis. Keeping your weight down is important to reduce strain on the joints in your lower limbs, particularly if you have psoriatic arthritis affecting those joints. Doing exercise and doing the right kind of exercise is critical. The better health we can keep our muscles and our joints in by doing exercise, the better uh, long term to prevent joint damage and to keep us functioning. Stress management is important too. This is a very stressful disease. You have a disease of skin and of joints. And it's important not to neglect that. And if patients feel symptoms of anxiety and depression, they need to seek help for those. It's very important for patients to comply with their medications, even though you know it may be difficult to put your ointments on twice a day or remember to take your medications because there's really no point you know, attending a clinic or putting in all the effort uh, to get, uh, access your medication and then not to take it, so it is very important. <laughs>